Hey guys, welcome we'll back again. Welcome to day 10 and 11 for the Moto Racer Plus 2023. Then decided to use the Elder Display for a full day. Someone in the comments asked me if I can do a full day just using the Elder Screen instead. Thought to myself that's gonna be hard, but challenge except it's not gonna lie. It's doable, but it takes a lot of willpower. Let's walk through day 10 and life for this one. Woke up at 6.30 a.m. as usual. I checked my notification by clicking this in the left hand corner. Start off my morning by sitting on the toilet. Going through all my feed, which is fine. Then I started taking some notes using Google Keep. And this is where things start getting weird. I would not recommend note taking using the auto display. As you can see here, what I'm trying to do is just move this text down one line. And this is really hard to do. On a normal screen, you can just put the cursor there, hit enter, and you move down. But using the front display, everything is just put together in one long horizontal bar. And you gotta be very precise on where you're touching to move it down. And I keep missing this spot. So it literally took me a whole minute just to enter a line break in my notes I'm trying to take. So. For the sake of your sanity, do not do this to yourself and just open up the phone. But you know, the day just began, so we gotta keep going strong and see how long it can last. Scrolling around YouTube is just fine. Everything is pretty smooth. It is a 3.6 display. It doesn't feel as small or anything, but when you're watching videos, I think it's fine. It doesn't take up the full screen though, so you're actually getting about like two inch. As you can see the top bottom bar is all black. I try to find a way to do a full screen mode, but it's very hard to do. And you could like a fat thumbs or you just can't do it. So either way, you're gonna be stuck with the smaller box. It's a little really mine too much, but I would have preferred the full screen even though it's gonna be partially blocked by the two cameras. So I'm just going around doing my morning routine, brushing my teeth, beginning day, making my coffee. I just have YouTube playing in the counter. That works just fine. If you want to use the camera with just the auto display alone, because it's really awkward. Just imagine you're using like a regular phone and using your selfie camera to try and take a picture and things. I would not recommend it. Snap this photo by accident, but in reality, I was just trying to take a picture on my food. So you kind of have to tilt it at a weird angle. Picture turned out to be pretty decent. I guess it makes sense. It is using the main camera. It's not like you are taking a selfie camera, which tends to be the more inferior camera in most cases. So not bad for a weirdly angled picture that I cannot frame easily. Snapchat works okay as well. I wish it was a full screen instead of this weird rectangle that prop thing you see in the middle and then i got my water reminder app that works pretty much as expected and as i'm eating breakfast i just have my phone propped up watching my youtube video but then i remembered i had a folding phone so i guess i'm technically still using the auto display it is just at an angle so we might as well utilize that and then i thought to myself what if it tipped over i might as well put it in a more stable position and just let it sit normally. I can still enjoy my breakfast and watch a video just using the auto display. This is actually not the worst thing in the world because if you're using a normal smartphone, it's just gonna be laying flat down. At least now you can just look straight at it even though it is a smaller screen. TikTok works okay as well. You do get a weird smaller crop screens, but it does work. You can scroll through, interact with it. It just looks a little funky. Although in some cases, depending on what video format it is, if people post in a horizontal format, it actually end up working better because it builds up the whole screen. By 9.30 a.m., I am currently working to my regular 9 to 5. While it's charging, works pretty well. Well, I mean, you can even do it while the phone is closed, so no weird issues there. Snapchat works fine. When I get a notification, I just click on the bar and I can read it normally. I try not to launch the actual app itself unless I want to actually check a picture. But if that's not what you intend to do, just use the notification because when you open up the actual app, it just defaults to the camera. And by 11 o'clock, I accidentally open up the call twice in the span of one hour, and then I just quickly close it. But just used to opening it out of pure habit. Very hard to limit yourself to this tiny screen when you do have the closest seven inch display in the palm of your hand. And then with the phone closed, you can use the power button to launch Google Assistant. So I just pulled that to activate the command, told it to call my mom. Works as it should, automatically turns on the speaker for me. And you can listen to voicemail. 
manage your voicemail. And by one o'clock, I decided to do some light gaming, in particular this Pokemon trading card game. I know they have about six games that is actually designed for the auto display. I did not end up touching it actually. Now a fan of random games and I guess it's considered a bloatware, but it is tucked all the way in the right side that I never really scrolled that far, so I don't really notice it or care much for it. But I want to play this game because it's what I usually do on a normal day. And on the surface, it seems to launch okay. But you can see here, this app is not fully optimized. You can barely touch this play button in the bottom right hand corner. Everything fit in neatly and I can play about two to three minutes just fine. And then I finally hit a roadblock when I was trying to activate one other move to retreat my Pokemon. And I cannot see the actual retreat button on the street. So I had to open it up. And when I did, the app actually restarted. So that is super annoying. I ended up losing that match by default. I'm not sure why opening up the screen would not just automatically continue the app over instead of restarting it. So just something to keep in mind if you are attempting to play any games on this small screen and decided to open it up to continue you on a live screen it may restart and act weird but lesson learned no more trading card for me on the outside stream pocket ass app work fine for me as well as my podcast app of choice google rewards also works okay if you guys have not already just be sure to install this free app google send random survey question they just ask if you've been to a particular store you get yes or no they gave me 10 cents here 50 cents there it does add up you can save it to buy Google Cloud Storage, YouTube Premium, and free money just for answering quick 10 second surveys. Although this particular app is not playing well with the front screen because I can answer it just fine and I cannot exit the app so I had to open it up quickly to hit close. So this is kind of like the common trend that you're gonna see. There are a lot of random apps that are not fully optimized and if you're determined to go through a full day of using the front there are gonna be some pickups along the way. And in the evening, I hopped in my car, went to go grab dinner. I even tried to use the smaller Jeep in stream. And it does work, but everything is shrunken down and it's hard to see. After driving for about 10 minutes, I decided to just open up my screen again. And this is towards the end of the day anyways. So made my way over to go grab dinner, got some Mexican food, and then I went home. Phone lasted me till 9.30 at night, so pretty much in another full day. I know it was sitting in a wireless charger here and there, but that's how I use my phone. And it's enough to make it through the day without me having to plug it in. I'm pretty happy with that. So there you have it. I mean, in theory, you can go through the full day just using the outer display. It does take a lot of willpower. And in some cases, it makes you question your life. But you just do basic things like texting, WhatsApp, Telegram, so WhatsApp doesn't work for me for whatever reason. I haven't uninstalled or uninstalled it yet. So I use Snapchat as my main platform that I talk with all my friends on. So that works okay. I can type just fine. I can watch YouTube just fine. Taking notes is weird. Taking photos is weird. Unless you're just doing selfies. Hope you guys find that video to be helpful or enjoyable. Let me know if any of you guys use the auto display and just let me know what your experience has been. And if there's any other questions or topics, ideas, things that you want me to cover, please let me know in the description below. I answer all the comments and questions and use them as ideas for future videos. In my next one, I'm gonna do a video about screenshot function. I'll play around more with the secure photo feature. There you have it. I thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Please check out my other daily vlogs if you haven't already. And see you guys in the next video.